morning folks right i'm just going outside because today is an amazingly beautiful queensland spring day even though it's not officially spring yet so i thought just go outside to do this believe it or not it's been three months since i was last giving you a, an update and let's see how we go all right fantastic but i now have 2347 subscribers to be exact so if we think back to my last video when i was just giving you an update and storytelling session uh, we were just over 2000 so wow that's amazing and just keep inviting people to subscribe and click on the notifications because um, if you don't do that you can be a subscriber but you don't actually uh, get notified there's a new video to watch so I just wanted to let you all know that I have got a sequence of videos to come out there'll be Russell is being released tomorrow he has done foliar spray really interesting with the, some of the results he's got I haven't been on farm for a year so uh, we sort of we do a bit of the, the, the foliar side of things, um, but we talk really about what's happened over between then and now, because of course the climate was just horrific for growing things with the flooding and the amount of rain we were having, and then it just switched off, as it does over here. Then um, Martin has got some water spreading banks uh, information. <laughs> so I made a video of that. That was when I was with him last year. Then there'll be me uh, planting my mixed orchard, Leptospermum. It is only Leptospermum at the moment, but it will have more fruit trees. There's interesting observations that I've noticed that when I buy fruit trees from garden centres or nurseries, it takes literally two to three years for them to actually go, you know what, I've gone cold turkey, I'm off the system. And now I can actually, I understand what microbes are and I can pull the minerals that I need. Uh, so I'm sitting there for two or three years waiting for my trees to react and, and blossom and, and um, get into a good way of, of actually growing. And so I have found somebody else that is very into regenerative um, bringing them on from seed, from cuttings. And I'm, I'm, it'd be interesting to see how quickly her plants then in this location actually kick on and, and how long it takes them to establish. Because of course, if you're, when, when you're growing food, for whether it's for yourself or for anybody, as soon as you put that plant in, you're wanting it to, to get on and, and produce your food as quick as possible. Um, good quality though, obviously, I don't want to force the issue. Uh, so then, oh yes, then I'm going to be going on to Cray Carter with his Ninguni cattle and what he's been doing. And the reason I loved videoing there was because he had a ridge very similar to this ridge here. His land was not as steep. It was more of a gentle slope once it had come off the ridge. However, um, he had gullies, erosion gullies, so I could really understand how well the process that he'd gone through and what I could actually apply here because these runoff gullies are an issue uh, they do change direction all the time there's erosion and then there's filling in and then there's erosion and it, they just move all the time I understand that um, but when they're about two meters deep there's a there's a time and a place when I've actually got to intervene and say oi okay let's try and just steady the flow make it all mushy rather than it just going hell for leather straight down this one track and just slow the water so the, the velocity and the concentration as you'll find out in the water spreading banks with martin then i've got some other videos the big videos so my challenge is i want to go and do some more filming with martin but i said i cannot go anywhere until i've got these big videos done so craig carter's one and then there's emma and luke carter I don't think they're related, they've just got the same surname, um, doing whatever they're doing um, with their block. They're actually regenerating a natural uh, block that, where nature is actually, is degrading it. Uh, quite phenomenal. Because I always thought that if you left something to nature, it would naturally regenerate, but it doesn't. Well, you actually do need to manage land. 
And then the other one is the Kirkby's. They, they've got their Dorper uh, Rams, which uh, they are incredible, like what they're doing. They had some Marima puppies as well. So I had, I got shown around and they planted the salt bush and just a lot of diversity. But I've also, two years ago, that was one of my first videos with the Kirkby. So it was really lovely to go and have a look around their actual farm um, and see what they're doing with their, with their planting of the diversity and their beautiful sheep. So that's all that's going to be coming over the next month. Some of those videos, they take me a couple of weeks to do those big ones. Um, so <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I've been putting it off a little bit because it takes a lot of time. Ah, yes. What I've decided to do, as much as I don't want adverts in between my videos, I earn about um, $100 a month and I've got 270 odd videos on here. So you can see that the, the the financial earnings compared to the time that it takes is not matching up. So I know that some, oh, there's a lot of you that have gone, look, we're so used to adverts now. It doesn't matter whether you have an advert in the middle of your video. I just didn't want to because my creativity is very, you know, I, I'm proud of my videos considering I've taught myself <laughs> and I learn all the time, especially when I'm editing. So what I've decided is that they'll be uh, non-clickable, -click so you won't be able to skip the, the advert. So uh, like for an example, I normally do my washing up when I'm watching um, videos and I don't want to take my rubber gloves off to switch the, the click the button. So it's going to be non-skippable. It will just be 10 seconds of adverts a couple of set times through each video, depending on the length of the video. And that means then that I will definitely, my income will actually increase and just to see. Now, if it doesn't increase that much, if it only increases by like $50 or something, I won't bother. I'll, like, I'll, t I'll revert it back to, to no adverts in between. I think that's everything. So yeah, enjoy this next month of videos. I will be churning them out and I've got some more ideas of, of what I want to do. That's my little update. So 2,347 subs, fantastic. Let's keep spreading the word and uh, enjoy regenerating our lives because it's fantastic. All right.